Hey guys, so this video is a review of Later, a popular social media marketing tool that many uh, social media gurus recommended here on YouTube. In this post, I want to share a quick review of what is Later, how to use it, and a review of their main features, how much it costs, and whether I recommend it. So keep watching if you want to know my thoughts. First, let's talk about the main features that you can find on Later. So the main features that you get on Later are scheduling. Uh, you're allowed to schedule across multiple platforms, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Um, you also get a calendar preview, which is uh, going to make your work easier if you want to check how your posts are going to look on the Instagram feed. Uh, it also comes with a photo library where you can import your photos from your drive. The media library is quite unique because it allows you to categorize photos into different tags. The app also comes with analytics, a link in bio tool, which you get on the free plan as well. So that is awesome. Now, let me show you how to schedule a post on later. Click on an image and drag it onto the calendar for quick scheduling. Then write your captions and complete the hashtags list and then you can add location next you can click on edit image if you would like to crop your photo into a different size that it's fit for instagram or add a new and cool filter finally choose a date and time for your post to go live and click save now let Go back to your Instagram and check your post. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of using Later for social media management. First of all, the pros. What's good about this app? So I instantly noticed that it supports posting on different social media platforms. So you can uh, tie up your Instagram, you can cross post on Twitter or Facebook. You know, you can just have a simple tool that allows you to cross post and schedule posts on different platforms. Uh, the app also comes with a feed preview, which is quite nice. On the free version, you can schedule up to 30 pieces of content for Instagram. You can also schedule videos, which is something interesting. And you can crop your videos. If let's say you have a portrait video that you recorded on your phone, you can crop it into the right size that is uh, available for Instagram. You can also choose a cover photo for your videos, which is something that it's quite nice. Now that is all for the pros. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the downsides and things that I don't really like on this app. First of all is scheduling Instagram stories and TikTok videos. Even though the app tells you that yes, you can schedule it, it doesn't auto post for you. So if you wanted to post a video on TikTok, you have to still post it manually. So the app will just send you a reminder that, hey, it's time to post. The app also comes with very limited analytics in my opinion. I've tried many uh, tools for Instagram analytics and by far I find this one the most limited. You can only access analytics for posts that you schedule using later. So if you used a previously another scheduling tool, like for example, Creator Studio by Facebook, you're not going to see any analytics. It will show you zero. Advanced analytics are only available on the paid plan. Next, let's talk about who is this app for and who it's not for. So first of all, who do I recommend this app? So I think this app is great for those of you who are new business owners or you're looking for a tool that that you want to schedule content across multiple networks like Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, right? You want something that it's easy to use, you want something that allows you to preview your posts, I think you would like later. Because it's quite a good app and it's easy to use for people who are new with social media marketing and scheduling content. Now, who is it not for? So if you are a social media manager like me, uh, you manage more than three accounts, I think this is not the best tool out there, honestly. Uh, the analytics are not the greatest it's quite costly if you want to add new social media accounts for example um, if you want to add two instagram three instagram how about 10 instagram accounts is going to be quite costly and i find that there's better and more cost effective options for social media managers also if you're someone who likes to look into detailed analytics and uh, create beautiful reports i think you will still need to use a separate analytics tool what are my final thoughts on using later so i have to say that it's a good app it's i understand why it's so popular it's easy to use and there's a lot of bloggers recommending it on social media everyone is talking about it but when it comes to the actual features of the app 
there's a better analytics tool on the market. There's, I can name at least three that are better. I'm going to link here if you want to check out more on my favorite analytics tools for Instagram. Um, I also think that if you manage multiple accounts, like for me, I don't see the need of using later. I'm more comfortable using other social media platforms that have like either unlimited number of accounts or uh, are more cost, cost effective so overall i think it's not the best it's not the worst it's a good marketing tool it's something that if you're new in marketing or if you just manage a single account i think you will enjoy it so that being said my overall rating for later is three out of five so that is three stars it's a good app it's not great i think we can get better but there's nothing wrong with it. So let me know what you think of later do you use later which social media scheduling tool do you use and uh, let's discuss in the comment bye